Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is our fifth video in a series of videos on our Apache Helicopter PC build. And today when I was getting set up and getting everything ready to do that video, which was going to consist of installing the motherboard into the case, I realized I never did a presentation on the case itself. Um, the last four videos, you know, I talked a lot about it, but uh, no one's ever seen it other than me uploading half a dozen or so pictures onto Facebook that was about it so I thought I would slip a video in here tonight on a uh, presentation of the uh, helicopter replica case itself and uh, so okay let's get started this is a helicopter replica case it's made by Thermotake it's a AHT 600 you can purchase this on Amazon or eBay or uh, Newegg and uh, various other computer supply stores but um, yeah so let's get started the uh, front of this case has like a replica cockpit of a real patchy helicopter it's got the windshield and then the two two side windows and uh, these are kind of blurry looking right now because they got this protective plastic on but we'll leave that on there until we're all done we don't want to get Get any scratches on that on that windshield or on those side windows um, you can see it has replica air ducts like a uh, like a real patchy helicopter and I'll uh, we'll move over to the uh, right side of the case and there's actually a glass door that fits on here and these are the hinges right here and this glass door will swing shut and latch and it'll give you visibility to the whole inside of the case where we're going to have a lot of RGB and LEDs and some uh, really colorful wiring. Try to make it look really authentic what a real Apache helicopter would look like inside. So this case comes with a uh, kit with um, all the screws and hardware you're going to need for the case for uh, mounting the motherboard. and has some tie straps in it, some brackets and so on and so forth. That's all in the uh, documentation. And um, this back inside part, turn us around here so we can see, this is where the power supply is going to go right here. And the motherboard's going to go on this plate, this inside plate right here. And these here are umbilical wires for our front USB ports, headphone port, and our microphone port, and our ind indicator lights. So they they come with the case. Um, if we look at the back of the case, you can see we have our PCI Express slots right here. And whenever the motherboard's mounted in the case, this is where you would plug all your USB cables, your uh, monitor cables, your HDMI or display port cables, whatever you're, you know, whatever you're going to do as far as adding expansion cards to uh, your computer. And let's take a look at the left side. You see these three pockets right here, and if you remember, and I believe it was our third video, and we installed, we installed the uh, M.2 MVME storage drives I mentioned that we were going to also s install three more backup drives well this is where we're going to put them we're going to put them in these three pockets right here and we're going to use 2.5 solid state drives and um, a lot of uh, a lot of provisions for uh, wire management they give you these straps right here and this is actually where all our wiring is going to go it's going to come out through these holes right here and we're going to run it down along the bottom to the uh, front panel then we'll run some to the back and run some up over to the top of the motherboard and there there's going to be a lot of wiring in this thing but uh, yeah I thought I would show this case because like I said in our first four videos, I uh, I talked about this case a lot, but I never actually uh, 
you know did any kind of presentation on it and like I said nobody has nobody has seen it till now so I you know I thought this would be a good uh, good video to uh, do a presentation on this case so yeah this is a this is a heavy case this case weighs a much 50 pounds empty so you know when it's completely built it's probably gonna add another 20 I'm uh, 15 20 pounds to it I'm guessing um, the heaviest part is probably going to be the power supply. So, yeah, it's going to be a pretty, pretty, um, pretty heavy computer. Um, where, one other thing I wanted to mention. This rotisserie right here that I have the computer setting on. I got this idea from a fellow YouTube creator. And I reached out to him and asked him where he got it. Because uh, everything I was looking at was just too small, too light. Just wouldn't hold a lot of weight, so uh, he hooked me up with a link uh, to uh, the website where I could purchase this. And like I mentioned, this case weighs almost 50 pounds, and it doesn't even face this rotisserie at all. I mean, this thing just spins around like like nothing. And when you're building a computer, after you get the motherboard and you have to do your wiring, and install your fans, and so on and so forth. It's a real pain to be having to walk around your workbench constantly. So, what makes it nice is this uh, this rotisserie just lets you spin the computer around. Instead of you walking around the table, the um, the computer rotates to you. So I thought this was really a great idea, and so I had you know I, ha I had to get one. I wish I had one when I did my other PC builds, but it made things a lot easier. And uh, you can see behind me, there's uh, got my uh, Joker theme built back there. And I got my assistant right here, Oz. Say hello, Oz. Say hello. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to do these videos if it wasn't for my assistant, Oz. He does. He helps me out a lot. So, yeah. He gets paid in uh, food, though. <laughs> he doesn't care about money. He just wants to eat. So he's he's a good boy. We've been uh, we've been buddies for like seven and a half years now. So um, he protects me and makes sure nobody uh, screws with any of our stuff around here. So, but he uh, he's a good dog. I love him very much. So so yeah, there you have it. I mean, that's our Apache uh, helicopter case. And when this is all finished, this thing's gonna light up. And it's going to look really, really cool. I mean, it's going to have a lot of light. And I just, you know, I, I can't wait till we get it finished. So, but like I said, I'm going to take it slow and do each part of this build step by step. So everybody uh, can, you know, go back and forth through the videos if they decide to build one. You don't actually have to build one with this case. You can build one with any case you want. Um... But uh, when I saw this case here, being I like to do theme builds, I thought this here would be a good one. So, yeah, there you have it. You know, it's our Thermotake T600 uh, replica, helicopter replica case. And um, other than that, I think that's going to be about it for this video. Like I said, I had to sneak this video in because... You know, I really, I really forgot to do the presentation on the case. So I wanted everybody to see actually uh, what the highlight of the build is. So, uh, yeah, there you have it. So, um, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the like button and don't forget to hit the little bell so you don't miss any of our videos. And um, I'll be doing our next video that I promised which is installing the motherboard into this case I'm going to try to do it within the next couple of days and um, what I also noticed though I have to say is this case is actually modular which means you know you can just take it apart in pieces and um, what I might do for visibility purposes is I may take this left hand side panel off 
so all the viewers out there can have a better look on how to install that motherboard because I don't know if there's going to be enough light inside here that you'll be able to see the standoffs and exactly where I put it, all the screws. So I just might take that left panel off and then install the board onto that panel and then reinstall the board onto the case. I'm still thinking about it. I have to uh, see uh, see if the uh, camera's going to pick up the uh, detail inside the case before I decide. So that's it for this video tonight. Thanks everybody for watching. And like I said, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, tap the like button. And I want to thank everybody. And I uh, hope you all have a great evening and a great day tomorrow. And uh, we'll see you in video number six. And video number six is going to be installing the motherboard finally. And you remember we in uh, assembled that motherboard in the first four videos. And uh, we had uh, a big success on it booting up to the BIOS. So everything we did in uh, all the previous videos was done exactly right. So um, I'm really excited about that. So we'll uh, see you on the next video. Try to do it within the next couple of days. And until then, stay healthy, keep safe, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.